Hello there, are you finally ready to have a deeper understanding about vectors? Instead of just putting dot normalize after everything because you feel like you should? Well, look no further. In game dev, vectors are often used to represent things like positions, directions, and velocities. But what is it? Well, a vector is a quantity with a magnitude, or in simple terms, length, and a direction. When we're working in 2D, vectors are defined by the values x and y, and in 3D, they are defined by the values x, y, and z. And in maths, they are represented like this. To see how they're useful, let's take a look at this graph. Here we have Shrek. What are you doing in my swamp? Now, say we want to move Shrek to this new position here. If we draw an arrow starting from his start position to the new desired position, we have a vector. This would mean we have to move plus three units to the right on the x-axis and plus two units up on the y-axis. This would be a 2D vector and can be written like 3, 2. Now to actually move Shrek to the new desired position, we have to add the new desired position vector to his current position. We can do this by simply adding the x components of both vectors and the y components of both vectors. Since his current starting position is 0, 0, if we add them together, we get 3, 2. But how do we know how far Shrek has moved? Well, since this is a right angled triangle and we have the value of these two lengths, we could use Pythagoras' theorem to calculate the magnitude. For those who don't know already, the Pythagoras theorem is a way to calculate the longest side of a right angled triangle when you have two known lengths. The formula for this is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, c being the longest side and a and b being the other sides. We know that a equals 2, b equals 3, and if we input these values and solve, our magnitude comes out as 3.606 to 3 decimal places. Great, so now we know how to calculate the magnitude. So what is the purpose of normalization then? Let me give you a scenario. Imagine the player press the up key and the right key simultaneously on the keyboard. Our input vector would be 1, 1. If we calculate the magnitude of this input vector like we did before, we get a magnitude of 1.41, which means diagonally our player would move further than if they were only to move up or right. But we don't want this. We want our player to move with a magnitude of 1, whether it's diagonal or not. This is where normalization comes into play. Normalization means to scale down a vector to a magnitude of one while maintaining the exact same direction. The way to do this is to divide the components of the vector by the magnitude. And we worked out a magnitude of 1.41. So here we can divide the x component one by 1.41 and the y component one by 1.41. And working this out, we now have a normalized vector of 0.709 and 0.709. Now, when we map this onto our graph, we can see it has the same exact direction as our input vector originally had, but now it has a magnitude of one. We can put this to the test by solving again using Pythagoras theorem. If we input the values 0.709 and 0.709 and solve, we are left with a magnitude of one. This means now, using the normalized vector, if the player moves diagonally, the magnitude of 1 is going to match if they only moved on the y-axis by 1 or the x-axis by 1. We can visualize this by using a perfect circle with a radius of 1. Here we can see the normalized vector will never exceed the magnitude of 1, whichever direction it points in. And that is the reason why you write dot normalize after your vectors. I hope that I explained this clearly enough and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. But other than that, I'll see you next time.